art class with Klein. So we're gonna make a paintbrush with found objects. So what I'm gonna do is go outside and try to find some items that I feel like would make a good paintbrush. Let's go. So when you're picking a brush handle, you wanna make sure um, you have a couple things in mind. Think about how thick the um, twig is if you're using a stick, cause like if it's so thin and it's brittle, it just snaps. You're gonna put a lot of work into this and you're gonna be frustrated. It's too thick. You have to like snap it off. Might be hard to work with also, because it might not feel so good in your hands. So you gotta find something that's a happy medium for you. All right, so I found a stick that has, it's broken at the end. I'm gonna try to shove some leaves, maybe grass in there, see what happens. So I'm collecting all the leaves and pinching them so that all the stems come together and I'm gonna shove it down into that open part of the stick. So I got all of the leaves stuck into the stick. So I found a vine and I took all the leaves off of it and I feel like it will be a really nice way to attach the end of my brush. And that is my homemade paintbrush. Just a twig, a lot of leaves and a vine. So here's a good update. If you don't use your paintbrush right away and you use it from like, or uh, from nature, it can start to wilt on you. So I went to get this out to do a demo. I made it yesterday and the leaves are already starting to go. So maybe leaves aren't the best choice. All right, so we got one brush down. Let's try something else. What I'm gonna do is pick a whole bunch of grass. This is the stick I'm gonna use for my second paintbrush. I have my stick and my grass here and talking of, or thinking about how this first one worked. I have this vine, but if I want to now take out these leaves, it's gonna be really hard to do that. I'm gonna have to break my vine. So I thought about, okay, what is something that I can reuse a couple times? And I came up with the idea of red ties and rubber bands. All right, so this is the top of my stick here. Uh, this is the end I'm gonna use for my brush. Alright, so I got a nice little groove in there and now I'm going to try to put some grass in it. Alright, so I got my bristles that I'm going to use. Um, I think I'm going to actually use a scissors to kind of trim them up a little bit, but I'm happy with the grouping. Um, I want this brush to be a little bit thinner than my first one, um, just to kind of experiment and see. And I'm going to leave these a little bit longer to see if I can get more detail and like a straighter line when I paint. Grab one of my bread ties because I feel like those will be better. Couldn't tell it's a little windy today. So I wrapped it around once, brought it back around, and then I'm gonna twist a couple times, lay it flat. Got another one. And the same thing, start going over the front, bringing it around back the other side, twisting it a couple times, and laying it down. All right, y'all here, so I tested out and used both brushes using water, and I did not get very good footage, I apologize, but it did not go the way I thought. I couldn't get any detail. It was clumpy, it was sloppy, and neither brush would hold any liquid. So I'm gonna head inside. This is a stick that I used with the leaves. I took the leaves out and took, out the, took off the vine, and I cut a piece of the netting from a bag of clementines that we had, used bread ties to attach it in there. That way I could mix and match and put other things in my brush. I'm gonna test it out. These are the two brushes I'm gonna be testing inside. So I have bristles that are grass and bristles that are netting. So I used green temper paint, yellow mustard, and red pasta sauce.
my example with the synthetic brush with the netting. Um, it did not hold the paint very well and it was very sporadic of where um, the paint was gonna go. After I washed it with the mustard and then with the pasta, um, it was able to cover more surface because the netting was wet, so it stayed closer together and I liked it that it was more of a surface brush. Lesson learned, I taped down the paper, made it easier to paint the second time. This is a grass paintbrush. Green, paint, yellow mustard, and red pasta sauce. I dipped the paint, or dipped the brush, and tried to spread the paint or um, food items. Just trying to go the length of the paper. It did not hold any liquid well, and washing this brush was a little bit different. Um, it took a little bit more manipulation and um, I was a little bit more afraid to work with it because I was afraid I was gonna rip the bristles off. So, let's sum it up what happened. One, things didn't always go according to plan. Second, I tried things that I could find outside in nature and things that I could find inside that were more synthetic. Third, I then tested the brushes that I made. I had to make some changes along the way. I made two brushes um, that way I could go back and forth with it. Overall, I think I learned a lot and I'm happy that I did it. So now it's your turn. Go outside, stay inside, make a brush and paint with it. Take some notes, have some fun, experiment. I can't wait to see what you come up with.